Hey everybody, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Lara G. If we haven't met before, I'm grateful that you're here. If, if you've been here before, welcome back. And the intention of today is uh, this video is to just offer a space for seated meditation. Um, if you've joined in my chant stacks, um, we've kind of done meditation through sound that way. Um, but now we'll just, we'll sit. Um, if you're tuning in and it's current times, it's December. Things are swirling. Things are moving around and our meditation practice, even just the act of sitting still, helps repattern the gray matter in our brain. It also helps put us into um, rest and digest, move us from fight or flight, in addition to so many other benefits um, that we could film another video at another time. And most importantly, it will calm anxiety, help us sleep. And that was the reason why I came to meditation. And the most important thing with meditation is knowing that we have to start small. We have to start in little nuggets and chunks, uh, nuggets rather than chunks, to um, acclimate to what it feels like to just be present, present with our breath, present with our thoughts. And the first way to do that is setting up with a strong, strong foundation. So if you have a pillow, a block, a stack of books, I would recommend using that. The goal is that you've got your pelvis above your knees. If you do that, then your spine will kind of hit in that sweet spot of its natural curvature. What happens if they're kind of all in one plane, the pelvis um, curls in and we round forward versus if we're elevated, we can allow our tailbone to go back and elevate our thoracic spine, our chest into the natural curve. Um, so really starting off with a strong foundation is the most important part. And if you do that, sitting quietly and stilly, stilly, I think that's a word, and more still, uh, will allow you to just get into that space in the zone. So uh, that's where we'll begin. Find something to elevate your hips. And from there, immediately go to pelvis forward so that your tailbone goes back. And from there, that will let you lift your heart. And then once you've gotten that, just bring your awareness to the surrounding, maybe the colors, the sounds. And once you've found an awareness for your room, begin to soften your eyes closed or just dim your gaze. If you're dimming your gaze, you can bring your gaze right past your nose. Just allow your eyes to get heavy your hands, place them in somewhere intentionally on your body. It could be in your thighs, on your heart, your belly, to feel your breath. And allow your breath to journey in and out of your nose. And if you've taken any yoga asana classes, it doesn't have to necessarily be ujjayi breath. More just filtering in and out of your nose allows just fresh fresh oxygen to come in through a filter, your nose. And as you become present with your breath, immediately connect back to your posture, lean your weight forward, lift your chest, naturally lifts. And start with your awareness, perhaps just with the in and outs of your breath. Maybe you count the pace of your breath. And just begin to notice your lungs inflate and deflate. The goal isn't to not have any thoughts. The goal is to not cling to your thoughts. So if any to-do lists or any ideas pop in your head as they naturally will, just 
Begin to bring your attention back to the pace of your breath, the rhythm of your breath. And perhaps the awareness and the attention that when you breathe in, your the air in your nose is a lot cooler than when you breathe out. Allow your jaw to soften. And if you have to move it all, it's fine. Let it be gentle as if you're Goal is to not disturb any water or air around you. And then come back. Can you become an observer to what's going on around you? That doesn't mean you need to get pulled in, just like your thoughts. But what do you notice? What do you hear? Without needing to label it, can you become in love with that sound and use it as perhaps a white noise for your backdrop? Again, as your mind begins to wander, begin to just notice the texture, the temperature of your breath. Or even the pace of your breath. The width of your breath. goal of this seated meditation is again not to grab, grasp, to grip, but to find ease and steadiness through awareness and letting go. Just one more minute here. Can you distance yourself enough from your thoughts and the sounds to create that spaciousness? To become spacious and steady. If you found a sweet spot, I invite you to stay and just keep noticing to the pace, the rhythm, and the texture of your breath. If you're ready to move on, just wiggle your fingers, your toes, maybe even close your jaw, bring one ear to the other shoulder. Slowly like blinds gently lifting, just begin to envelop your eyes open, nice and slow. Welcome back. Inhale, take a stretch overhead. Exhale, side bend to the right. 
Just bringing some movement into your body. Inhale back to center. Exhale, side bend to your left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, bring your hands intentionally on your body and bow your chin to this practice of spaciousness through stillness. We honor the practice. Thank you for being here. My goal is to start posting some more of these, some, some little bite-sized meditations or sits so that we can loop in the spaciousness and allow everything else to just exist. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to share it with a friend, to keep coming back. And there is no perfect time for this practice, but we create and facilitate that space for ourselves. So thank you so much. I hope to see you on the other side. Have a beautiful day.